and welcome back to my channel so today as you can see i'll be setting up for bay 173's comeback as well as my new x1 collection and also just adding in some new like final dividers so let's start so i'll only be working on this final today and as you can see i i don't think i've shown this yet but i changed up my cover here so to like pictures of all three groups in here with like blue outfits so let's skip b2b today and actually just go to okay actually i'll make a pit stop at like on and off section so on and off literally just like announced that they're coming back with their repack in late april like real real quick from the last one so i'm just going to quickly just add a nine pocket in here in preparation for it so just so i don't have to put it in next time so this will just go in there for now okay. and then now we come to b173 so we're gonna change the my dividers up first so let's remove the old one okay i'll put this back later so this is the one for that I made for A173. I'm so excited for that comeback actually. Like I really like the teasers like for the MB. I don't necessarily like the outfits again. I'm not a big fan of the outfits that we've seen we've seen like in the teaser so far, but I quite like that they're going for a what looks like a MV with a storyline this time, which is what I think, like, out of a few things that MVK actually does well. They always have really, like, nice quality storyline MV, so hopefully this will be a good comeback for Bay 173's. So, the last one for HNV. Not sure if you can actually hear the rain, but it's raining outside, so don't mind it. Okay, so now we're gonna put this back in. So we'll start with Bay 173's comeback first. So I'm not sure how big the postcard. The folding card seems to be bigger this time based on like my own measurements. So this is like the plan that I have for their comeback so it's basically I'm just gonna put in one one pocket and one nine pocket and call it a day for now because I'm not sure where whether I'm gonna be putting all the postcards and whatnot in because they seem kind of big for a two pocket So let me first put the nine pocket in just the side, and then we'll also put the one pocket. Originally, I, at first when I saw the album inclusions, I thought that the folding card would be the same size, but apparently not. I think I'll put the postcards in the same three pocket because they do fit in this the stickers however don't so okay so for this comeback they don't actually have a lot of cards per member it's just two pre-orders and two album cards per member but you get five per album when you buy like you get an extra pre-order so i probably will just keep whoever i pull depending so this is like just gonna be I'm just gonna put it as this like layout for now because I'm not sure whether I wanna actually collect another member actually. If I do I think it'll be Yongso. Either Yongso or Mewden, but I would say I'm leaning more towards Yongso after watching the content from their like debut era. 
so for now I'll just leave it like this and actually let's fill this up with white papers so I I don't know if I want to collect another member mainly because I might just wait for like the next album after this one and see whether it like has very little cards as well and just combine it into one page kind of like what I did with actually I don't really do that often so I'm not sure how I want it to go but I'll just leave it like this for now okay. so uh, I'll just actually since I have the white paper from the dividers let me just pop a piece of white paper in And then we'll set up for my new like new X1 collection. So let me take everything out first. So I'm not sure how I wanna actually lay the cards out. So these are all of Dohyun's cards and let me actually pop the bookmarks at the back of the keynotes first so they'll just live behind here now uh, these three you know okay and then i'll add a new nine pocket so what i think i want to do is put the album cards first and do this or actually I think I'm gonna put this one first so I'm gonna put the quantum leap version first and then Okay, I clearly can't multitask, but the Quantum Leap version, then the Bisang version, then I can't remember which is which. I know there is one that is the binder photo card, and then there's another one that's like from another merch that I can't remember, which is this one, but I don't remember which is which. So we're going to put this first. And then this bottom. But it kind of like annoys me that this is the only horizontal cut in like literally any of X1's merch. So now we're adding the fillers for Hangyul and Sungyun, which I didn't write what it was because like I already know what goes where. So we're just gonna have the fillers just live in there for now. I think this will be like a slow going collection for me because I don't really wanna prioritize it too much since I much prefer focusing on my other collections but I think Hangyo's collection should be decently easy to finish but Sungyeon is gonna prove kind of difficult also I'm doing this like by each order because I'm uncreative You know, I really hope that one day we'll see an X1 reunion. Just like, even if it's a single 
like I just want to see it happen. Okay, so this is how it looks. And I might get like either Hangyo's or Songyun's postcard from the Shokan as well, or just to fill up the space. And then I have nothing for H and D, so that's it for this video. Okay, you know what? Let me just fill this up with paper. Just to make this video like slightly longer, and just for me to talk about on and off. Repack. They're coming. They're gonna come back with a repack with three new songs, which is, I guess, expected. But I didn't. I literally, I I mean, I had a thought the other day since they mentioned that Oh My Girl was coming back in May, and then I was like, also oh, on and off repack in April, right? But then like I didn't think that would actually happen because they literally just ended promos and they, it didn't seem like they were preparing for repack already. But I guess they are. Or maybe it's because they originally was gonna release my name in like I guess November or some December or something and then they had to push it back so now everything is coming together. I'm not sure how many cuts or how many versions they'll do this time but I'll just buy one album and see how it ends up. Maybe from G Market again if they have pre-orders. So that's it for this binder today and see you in my next video. Bye!